Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I have kind of like this fresh springy makeup type of look. I, I don't know, I felt like doing something peachy on my eyes. I mean, you can't really see it. Let me just take my glasses off. Um, it's just, I put my glasses on and it makes indentation sometimes. You know, after a while you can definitely see them, but I just put them on and I don't think that was the best idea. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like doing something like really peachy. I added some like fake freckles and kind of like a beauty, a fake beauty mark. And I did soap brows, although I kind of locked them a little tiny bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but we managed to pull through. We fixed it in the end. Um, I really like how this looks came out. Um, and yeah, without rambling on and on and on, please let's just go ahead and get started with this video. Okay. So to start, I'm going to prime my face with a Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I'm not going to show you anything because it's, it's, it's the same things I use every day, really. They're all in the description box. I haven't changed anything. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation um, with a paddle brush, and then I blend it out with a sponge. You know, very pale foundation, but I'm pale as it is. I'm just trying to match everything, you know? Um, I'm blending it with the Morphe sponge, the whole thing, all the way down to my neck. And then with concealer, I go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's in the shade Light Sand, I believe. And then just blend everything out with my sponge again. I'm going really fast through all of this, like my face, because I just want to focus on the eyes. Like, it's a very simple and quick look. I want to make this a quick video, so yeah. Blending everything out and then amping up the coverage with the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Concealer and blending that very, very gently. Moving straight on to Cream Bronzer. Um, uh, it's a L'Oreal infallible <laughs> foundation, actually, but I prefer to use like the cream foundations because they last a lot longer than cream bronzers. I don't know why, it just mine fades. So that's my little tip of the day. Um, for liquid blush, I'm using the Nick and Fab. Um, is it like, I, I don't know, it's a liquid blush. It's in the, it's in the description box. <laughs> With what's left of like, you know, concealer and foundation on my sponge, I just go on top of it to kind of clean up edges and intensity and everything. And then I nearly, nearly poke my eye out. Throughout this whole video, I will be poking my eye out several times. Um, I just set my face with that um, Real Technique setting brush and the RCMA No Color Powder, and then I go in with a larger BH Cosmetics brush. Throughout this whole video, I use BH Cosmetics, Morphe, and um, Real Techniques brushes, really. Now for freckles, I have never done freckles on my channel before, but essentially what I like to do for this kind of like softer look is to grab an eyeshadow and that like bent liner brush dot them all over my face and then go on top of it with what's remaining like the powder remains that sounds so weird um on the setting brush <laughs> um but yeah that's essentially what I like to do so it looks a little bit more natural then for contour I use the makeup obsession palette use a smaller um eye brush for my nose you know tip of the nose try to try to con conceal contour <laughs> and then bronzing my face a little bit more to just set the bronzer the cream bronzer that's under and then I put a little bit of blush from the BH Cosmetics Plus Palette. Palette. I also put it on my nose and then highlight as I usually do. My nose and all my temples, my face, everything. And then what I also do differently is soap brows. Now this is a technique I really like to do but I recommend to do it before you put foundation on because then it looks a little bit weird. I wasn't going to do this but I decided to do it last minute and I effed them up several times. Um, but it's okay, we managed to pull through. They look decent. Um, I'm just using a bit of concealer to um, clean them up and I use the micro brow pencil from Morphe. It's a chocolate loose shade. Next, setting spray and then I air everything um, and use finally the eye palette, the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette. And I go in with very few shades. Now I pointed to that shimmery shade right there. No, it's the matte one on top. Of course, I'm not putting like that, that many yet, you know. Okay, so the main star of the show um, is this pinky, shimmery, kind of like duochrome shade, I want to say, because it has kind of like gold and yellow reflex. It looks bomb! I, 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 the camera doesn't do it justice. I do wet it so it's a lot more intense. And then I go in with that other light shade to kind of like, you know, not pop my eye out or anything. <laughs> um, no, to create a halo effect, I go in with that lighter shade too. And then back in with the pinky, not that gold one that I kind and then blend out the very edges, flick, flick off everything um, that fell down, the fallout. And then with um, a very, very light hand, um, use those transition shades on my bottom lash line. I wanted to do a very soft look, which is not the usual on my channel. And then I nearly poke it out again. And using the BH Cosmetics um, 
what's this called? It's the warm brown um, eyeliner. I, I love this one. It's really, really good if you have like semi-watery eyes. Then with the darker brown, I kind of just blend that liner out on my bottom lash line. And with the same shimmery shade that I used on the center of my eyes, I just do the inner corner highlight with my other highlighter, the Becca Champagne Pop. And then for lips, I'm using the Kylie um, Bare Lip Liner. It comes with the um, velvet liquid lipstick. I think, sadly, I lost it. Um, but yeah, I just do that kind of color, put all over my lips, and then go in with the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 13 um, Sunset Beige. I love this stuff. Thank you, Chloe, for showing me this if you're watching me. Thank you so much. I love them. I'm obsessed. And then for eyes, the usual. <laughs> Curling my eyelashes, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I don't use anything else. I will I will try something else soon, I promise. But it's just it's just bomb. And then some Ardell lashes with the dual lash glue, and that's it. That's it. Thank you. I finished putting my makeup on and I did my hair, so I feel like a little bit more put together. Um I put my glasses on because I couldn't see. And that was a bad idea because now I have like those nose marks so i can't take them up when you take photos but that's okay i really hope you um like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below um any suggestions comments anything really i'd really appreciate it um and i love it when you guys leave me comments so yeah um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye